We are back with the realistic rebuild of the Arizona Cardinals here with our first official episode. If you guys have not seen episode zero, go check that out. It's in my playlist. That's just where we went over the introduction to the series and everything. But here we are with the first official episode. We are taking on the Washington Commanders. So here we are with the Commanders on offense to start out the game. Sam Howell is going to drop back to pass. He has all day to throw. We get some pressure. We get a strip sack on the first play of the game, and we recover it, and we are taking over on offense inside the, what, five-yard line? This is great field position. Wow, that was Joshua So here we are on second down after the strip sack. We're going to try to run this ball in with James Conner here on the four-yard line here. We hand this ball off, and there's a lane, and James Conner dives into the end zone, and we put the first points of the season on the board with a rush by James Conner. Hey guys, I'm just jumping in here. As you guys saw at the beginning of this video, the audio quality is pretty bad. I made a mistake while recording. It's completely my fault. I should have paid better attention to what I was doing when I was recording. So the commentary for this is going to be pretty off and on. It's not going to be constant. Like when I recorded it, it was supposed to be. And then I messed it up. So... In the next episode, you will see better commentary, you will see better audio quality. This is just a one-time thing. I made a mistake, and I'm going to improve so it does not happen again. So yeah, I would just like to apologize to you guys again. You know, I made a very bad mistake and kind of messed up the entire flow of this video. But I will improve. Episode 2 will be much better than this one. I can assure you guys that. So thank you to those who have been sticking around for the past couple minutes here. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video as well as the next couple of episodes that are to come in this series in general. So here are the commanders on offense here at the 32-yard line. They're lining up. I'm going to run a blitz here to see if we can get something going. And they're going to hand this ball off to Brian Rob. Oh, and my... Okay. And he's going to take this all the way down to the one yard line almost got in there that was yeah that was horrible defense there i read the wrong gap and he just manipulated it and almost scored a touchdown yeah that's that's great so here they are lining up on the one yard line first and goal after that horrible play they're going to hand this ball off to the right and he's going to truck his way in the Commanders score their first touchdown of the game after that long run by Brian Robinson, and he punches it in on the one-yard line. Well. 
likely going to be throwing it down very soon. He's going to be watching the guard. He's going to be going to So here we are on offense, a couple of plays after that big play by Zach Ertz. We're going to be throwing the ball again here. We're going to try and hit this wheel route right here, and it gets red. Of course, that was that was a horrible read by me. We're not going to catch him. He's going to take this all the way for a pitch. Yeah, I suck as a quarterback. Now here we are lining up on third and long. Another third and long. We have like a million third and longs so far in this game. We're going to be throwing this ball. Oh, we have a guy wide open throwing it here. And it... <sighs> yeah, that was three interceptions, man. I don't know. Goodness gracious. That was horrible. Third and seven. Thirty-three seconds left. The commanders are going to throw the ball. And Adam, he gets some good pressure here. Not as good. So we're going to be punting the ball after not being able to get anything going on offense. I can't tell. Is their defense good or do I just suck? Like, it's one of the two. I don't know. Maybe it's a combination of the two. So we're punting this ball here, and can we get a tackle, guys? And he's got one man left. Yeah. I can't even do punt coverage, man. Like, everything is just going wrong in this game, bro. I, I'm just so bad at that. It's actually insane. Down here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
trainers and the coaches. Well done. Down 24, we got to get something going on offense. We're going to start here on this drive. Probably not going to win this game, but we're going to try our best to even. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm. Like, that was not even on me. You guys, you guys can't even tell me that's on me. I refuse. Okay, I don't need to know all that. Anyways, he's he, he should be open. He should throw it right here. But where does he throw it? He throw he doesn't throw it to the right. That that's what. You know, it's not my fault. I refuse to believe that's my fault, even though it probably is. I've been making horrible reads this whole game. I don't know what happened. I'm just in disbelief right now, man. Like four interceptions, I've been playing horribly as quarterback. This whole like I said earlier, I can't tell if I just suck or if they're just too good. Oh, I and mean, we're taking out our frustration on their team now. But like, like man, I can't tell. Do I just suck or are they just good? Like, what is it? I've got a feeling they're going to try and run it here on 4th and inches. As you guys can see, they're changing up the play. We're going to run a blitz, see if we can get a stop here. Maybe try and put some points on the board. Sam Howell's going to throw it. Oh, we drop back and we get an interception. <laughs> we actually make a defensive stop this game. Wow, an interception. I'll take it. Clayton Tune is low-key cooking right now, even though it's only been two passes, so I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I have liked what I've seen, but let's go a little deeper here. We're going to throw this over the middle, and of course, we fumble the ball. Of course, just who would have thought that we would give the ball up here? That's just great. Seen neutral zone get called in that 24. 
Yeah, that has to be one of the first times I've ever seen encroachment get called on me in this game. Oh, we get a big hit here. Stop. Jeez, we stopped him short of the goal line. We're going to call a timeout here. Now they want to kneel the ball. Don't want to kneel the ball before. Now they do after that big hit. Who would have thought? But, yeah. We're going to lose, lose this game by 24 points. It was rough. It was a horrible game by me. I take full accountability for just sucking that game. Um, I should have made better decisions as a quarterback. And defensive-wise, there's a lot of mistakes that led to big gains for them that ultimately and they're going to kick a field goal here. So we're going to lose by 27. It is what it is. We'll improve and we'll do better next time we play. Unless we can take this kickoff return for a touchdown. So you can make a couple moves here and we get stopped. And that'll do it for this game. Game one of the first season. We lose to the Commanders 7-34. to 34. Yeah, that was, that was tough. So now with that absolutely horrible performance over, we're just going to go over some stats here. As you guys can see, Josh Dobbs, under 100 yards passing. Yeah, this game is horrible. No touchdowns, couple interceptions. This is not a good performance by me throwing the ball whatsoever. So now moving on to check out the rushing stats. We could not get anything going running the ball either. It was horrible. Um, one touchdown by James Conner, but... Averaging less than one yard per carry, that was, yeah, that was just not a good performance. Running the ball, throwing the ball, nothing. It was just a horrible performance by me all around. Now moving on to check out the receiving stats. James Conner was also our leading receiver with Zach Ertz in second place. Um, yeah, we could not really get much going. We only had four receivers get a catch, so that was that was something. So, yeah, now moving on to check out the defensive stats. Zayvon Collins led our team in tackles. Um, checking out sacks, we had one sack. Dennis Gardick had that one strip sack. Interceptions, we had one. Christian Matthew with an interception on that one weird blitz play when I thought they were running it and just dropped back and just happened to get that interception. Um, checking out fumbles now, we see Dennis Gardick, he had the one strip sack. We had nobody else force a fumble. BJ Ujulari was the one that recovered this. So after that game, it made me realize we need some more beef in the trenches. So I'm going out and signing defensive tackle Taven Bryan. He's 27 years old, five years of experience. We are going to be signing him on a one-year deal for the rest of the season. So I've advanced to week number four because that is the next game that we will be playing. We are currently 0-3, and we are now going up against a very tough San Francisco team that is ranked at 87 overall. So that's going to be a very tough matchup. As you guys can see, just going over weekly strategy here. But yeah, with that, that being said, this is the end of episode number one technically episode number two but episode zero was more just like an intro this is like the real first episode so yeah going forward we're gonna have longer episodes i know that was a pretty short episode episode zero was but yeah that's really all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching